Now to campaign 2020. The top ranked Democratic presidential candidates received most of the media attention during and after the debates, but how are the two Texans in the race faring? Political reporter Jack Fink live in Arlington with a look. Jack? Well, Gilma Beto O'Rourke and Julian Castro face different challenges. O'Rourke is already qualified for next month's debate, but analysts say he's got to find a way to stop sliding in the polls and fundraising. And analysts say Castro has to find a way to just make it to the next debate. It's better last night, even in the first debate. Former San Antonio mayor and HUD secretary Julian Castro continues to win praise for his debate performance last night when he went head to head with former Vice President Joe Biden over illegal immigration. First of all, Mr. Vice President, it looks like one of us has learned the lessons of the past and one of us hasn't. Julian Castro got off a very good line. But SMU political science professor Cal Gilson says even with that good line, Castro may not move the political needle to boost his poll numbers enough so that he qualifies for next month's debate in Houston. He says Castro must get on as much TV as possible. You've got to decide what your issue is, and for, for Julian, uh, it is immigration. So what are you going to say about immigration that attracts enough attention to you? Jake, this is important. Here. Who's as for Beto O'Rourke, Jilson says while he did better in his second debate than the first, the former El Paso congressman hasn't been the same since he attracted sharp criticism for standing on restaurant counters and his overall manner early on. I think he's got a lot of hand movement. I've never seen so much hand movement. I said, is he crazy or is that just the way he acts? He changed his style and disappeared. He's never really recovered. Jilson says O'Rourke needs to somehow recapture the same energy he exhibited last year when he ran for U.S. Senate and nearly defeated Ted Cruz. That needs to be his signature, but people need to think that that passion and energy is well directed toward issues that they care about. And Jilson says O'Rourke must have a breakthrough moment at next month's debate if he wants to gain momentum and last all the way through the Iowa caucuses in February. As for Castro, he tweeted today he's just one poll away from qualifying for next month's debate. Live in Arlington, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Okay,